Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on my weekly videos. And also be sure to put the bell notification on so you guys always get notified when I post a new video. Anyways guys, I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel and it's going to be all about scary true stories. So today we have some extremely hot tea because this story is crazy. I actually cannot believe this story because out of all places to be haunted, you would not expect this. Also, before we get into the story, be sure to drop a like because Angel is the cutest griffin ever. Right, Angel? This video should be getting to 20,000 likes because you're super cute. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see Angel in more videos. Anyways, guys, today we're going to be talking about Toys R Us. You guys might be wondering, like, what? Toys R Us? How is Toys R Us scary? Well, there was a lot of tea about Toys R Us that I'm going to be dropping today, but about one specific Toys R Us. This seemingly normal toy store, there are those who claim that it's a favorite haunt of a very playful ghost. It's at night, after closing time, when the toy store becomes most haunted. This Toys R Us is haunted! Yes, bear with me, it is actually a haunted story, and it's a crazy story to say the least. If you guys don't know what Toys R Us is, you guys are probably younger, is my guess, but I grew up going to Toys R Us. Literally, Toys R Us was like heaven to me, like heaven on earth. When I was younger, it was either Disneyland, Toys R Us, or the beach. Those were like my three happy places. Whenever I would go to Toys R Us as a kid, I would always beg my mom to get me some stuffed animals or some kind of like bubbles or some kind of fun outdoor toy because I loved playing outside when I was younger. And I cannot even imagine that kids growing up now for the most of it, do not get to experience Toys R Us. If you guys did not know, Toys R Us went bankrupt a few years back and most of the locations are still closed to this day. Except for I do believe there's like a few locations of Toys R Us that are still somehow running. I don't think it's very many. I think it's like a couple. I think what usually drew me into Toys R Us was the big giraffe on a lot of the buildings when I was little. I just loved Jeffrey the Giraffe. Jeffrey the Giraffe is actually Toys R Us's mascot and I've just always liked giraffes and not only that, but I kind of look like a giraffe because I'm super tall. And most of the Toys R Us's that I went to had claw machines sitting inside of them And sometimes I would just drag my family into them just to play the claw machine because I love arcade games But when the toy industry started getting a lot higher and a lot more competitive That kind of sent Toys R Us to go bankrupt because Toys R Us was a whole store full of all sorts of toys Like Barbies, dolls, plushies, outdoor activity toys Any kind of kids toy that was hot on the market would be there However, Target and Walmart started to kind of compete with them because a lot of people went grocery shopping And then would buy their kids toys from Target and Walmart and so they wouldn't go to Toys R Us which caused Toys R Us to kind of go bankrupt. It was really sad at the time because a lot of the employees at Toys R Us actually lost their jobs. However, there are rumors about one specific Toys R Us that are quite crazy. Could a ghost be lurking here in this irresistible playground? This Toys R Us was the Toys R Us located in Sunnyvale, California, which is actually probably about an hour from where I currently am. So I know this Toys R Us has been ripped down since then because they went out of business, but it has been replaced by a new store. This Toys R Us building was built in 1970, and this one was actually built on top of haunted land that apparently goes way, way back. The land that it was built on was haunted for a while, and the haunted activity was extremely high. There's been many, many reported haunted incidents on this land. Before the Toys R Us was built over top of the land, there was a ranch in the 1800s that people lived on. It was owned by a man named Johnny Johnson. However, Johnny Johnson ended up dying on that land that they built the Toys R Us on. So now there are rumors that Johnny actually haunts the Toys R Us building and whatever store is now built on the Toys R Us property. Many staff members and customers who came to this location at the time that it was there reported hearing footsteps through the toy aisles, getting poked in the back, feeling a cold breeze of breath down their neck, and hearing their name be whispered into their ears when nothing was there at all. And even the bathroom stall doors would slam all by themselves and apparently the faucets would go on and off repeatedly all by themselves. Also, some of the female staff members that worked at this Toys R Us reported that their hair would randomly get tugged on or played around with all by themselves when they'd be stocking the shelves with brand new toy releases. Also, the highest activity hours of this Toys R Us were right before closing time of Toys R Us. It's at night after closing time when the toy store becomes 
is most haunted? Apparently, right before closing time, it was often seen that toys would be pushed off the shelves all by themselves. And not just like one toy box, but like the whole row would just slam off the top shelf by itself. And apparently the baby swings would swing all by themselves because they had a lot of baby toys and baby items in there. And any toy cars that were sitting out on tracks would move along the track all by themselves. And if I saw that at Toys R Us, I would probably cry. I'd be a little freaked out that things were falling off the shelf and nothing was there. But the absolute scariest and craziest thing that I had found online while researching this Toys R Us was that the employees at this Toys R Us at the time decided it was a good idea to perform a literal seance. And seances are demonic. Those are evil and that's something I would never do. But these people were like, no, we're gonna perform a crazy seance and get this ghost to come to us. Sylvia Brown believes she made contact with the ghost. As he walked down the hall towards me, kept saying, uh, have mercy on me. They wanted to perform the seance because their boss didn't even believe them about all the hauntings that were happening, and neither did their friends or family. So they actually hired a literal photographer to come in and take photos during this Toys R Us seance where they put candles all around and sat in a circle and tried to summon the ghost in the Toys R Us on that property. They literally ended up capturing a picture of Johnny Johnson during the seance. As you can see in the photo, there is a figure and it appears to be Johnny Johnson. He is tall and long and he seems to be wearing some sort of hat well I think it's a hat and it's a dark figure with kind of a white glow around it and you can see them at the bottom sitting there doing the seance which is actually terrifying so even though this Toys R Us store was taken down and replaced now in the new store that was put up the workers there still have paranormal experiences with Johnny Johnson just because they believe that his spirit is attached to the land there because that's where his ranch was built and that's obviously where he passed away also I don't know if you guys know this but I actually did live on a property that was haunted before because it was built atop of burial grounds yeah terrifying we didn't know that until obviously we had seen some paranormal activity in the old house I was in but one thing I've heard about that is that when construction is done on land the ghost there gets mad apparently because that was their land and if you're messing with their land they're gonna haunt you so all the construction that was done on the land including Toys R Us and including the new store obviously made Johnny Johnson pretty mad because people say now in the new store the paranormal activity is even worse and more demonic. This ghost has been crazy on the loose. He's been doing a lot worse things in the store and some of the workers even quit their job because they were too scared to even work in the store. That really says a lot that some of the workers wanted to quit their job just because of a ghost but this ghost still continues to haunt the current store it's in and people still report ghost activity on this forbidden land all the time. It's crazy that this Toys R Us got so much attention that it was in articles shows, videos, it went everywhere. I think even at the time a lot of YouTubers went to this building and tried to record some ghost activity. I mean it is pretty scary that Toys R Us could be haunted because it's such a fun innocent place and it's a place where little kids would go and I don't know why any ghost would want to haunt a toy store but that makes it quite terrifying. Let me know in the comments down below would you guys go to a haunted Toys R Us or anywhere that is haunted? We're gonna be talking about the wonderful world and or the downfall of Toys R Us. So as a kid Toys R Us was one of my all-time favorite places in the entire world. Like, how could it not be? Basically, if you guys have never been to a Toys R Us, let me catch you guys up as to what it is and how it kind of had its very dark downfall and it kind of fell apart over the years. Toys R Us was one of America's largest toy store chains and the company was founded in 1957. Its first store was built in April of 1948. And these stores carried a very wide range of children's toys such as bikes, dolls, Barbies, video games, plushies, pretty much any popular toy at the time was inside of a Toys R Us. Like, they carried literally everything and anything. Arts and crafts, I think clothing as well. Outdoor necessities, like water stuff for playing in the pool. They had everything at Toys R Us's. It was basically like a toy store heaven. Like a little kid in the candy store, I got so darn excited to go get a toy from Toys R Us. It was just amazing. Also, the outside of the building of Toys R Us's were always so colorful and bright with the big Toonie logo. Like, as a kid, I was automatically drawn to the logo, kind of like people are drawn to a McDonald's logo. Same sort of concept, the colors on that logo just made you want to go in the store. But sadly, these stores were absolutely amazing. However, they closed from bankruptcy in 2017 and 2018, and pretty much all their locations completely closed their doors and shut down forever, making a lot of people lose their jobs because there was thousands of Toys R Us employees across the whole nation that lost their job when this happened. They closed all locations in the US, the British lands, Australian locations, and pretty much everywhere else at the time. This broke my heart 
and so many other kids hearts as well because this place was so nostalgic to so many of us while we were growing up it was like a key memory of our childhood this place just had a certain feeling that it's kind of hard to explain it was just so extremely nostalgic and another thing I want to mention before I get into the dark scary stuff was there was this big giraffe mascot called Jeffrey the giraffe that kind of represented Toys R Us formerly known as Dr. Giraffe Jeffrey the giraffe made his public debut in the 1950s in print advertisements for children's in print advertisements this giraffe was famous for saying the slogan of Toys R Us this was a quote that paved his way for the future of the company and in the 1960s when the children's bearing town became Toys R Us Dr. G Raff was renamed Jeffrey and was crowned the official Toys R Us spokes animal Jeffrey the giraffe has been a beloved member of the Toys R Us family ever since in the early 70s Jeffrey introduced his family to the world his wife Gigi daughter baby G and son junior they rode in their family car the Jeffrey mobile a double-decker bus filled by potato chips for some reason that was kind of spontaneous and quirky so he had a whole family of giraffes with him. During this era, Jeffrey also received a makeover with rounder eyes and spots, smaller than the past spots, and a tuft of hair added on his head. This version of Jeffrey would become the template for all other illustrated versions of Jeffrey the Draft to come forward in the future. And now to this day, only few locations of Toys R Us exist in the entire world. One of these locations actually just recently opened a few years ago after they all closed down in the USA's biggest mall, American Dream Mall. I actually found a TikTok, which I'm going to put here on the screen, of it opening up in Jeffrey the Draft giraffe is so excited so that's actually cool to see they finally opened one since they all went out of business I also believe there is another location that was opened in Canada or never closed for some reason so those are actual rarities and not only that recently this is actually where I had the idea for this video I went into Macy's and I saw that they're opening tiny Toys R Us's and almost all of the Macy's across the USA this exact like December for some reason like they're opening this December for Christmas so that is so cool to see Jeffrey the giraffe is making his comeback however I saw something kind of horrifying before I get to the scariest part of the story was that Toys R Us has a TikTok and it's really unsettling. Some of the stuff I've seen on there is actually horrifying. So I found the Toys R Us TikTok account and it's basically an account full of just a bunch of weird videos of Jeffrey the Giraffe. Whether he's dancing and singing a song or teaching us how to dance, which I find to be a really weird marketing scheme, or showing off toys that they have in their current open locations. Basically this account is just really weird. I don't know who's running. It. I don't know who's under the giraffe suit, but I kind of want to know because if you look at some of the TikToks, Which I'm going to put here. It's just unsettling. Like, how do you not find that unsettling at all? Like I'm gonna have nightmares of that exact TikTok. So the main really concerning part of this whole story actually revolves around a Toys R Us That was built atop of a cursed haunted land and had a bunch of hauntings According to the internet connected to this place. I think I've covered this in a past video But it's so fascinating to me. I want to cover it again because it's just horrifying and unsettling so this this Toys R Us was located in Sunnyvale, California and has closed ever since. I believe since then it's been turned into either a pet store and then even a Walmart and even a sporting store because of all the hauntings accordingly to the internet they claim that the stores became so haunted whatever was built atop that land that the Toys R Us was on people did not want to keep their store open and things were going wrong like left and right. The store was originally built in the 1970s as part of Toys R Us expansion to California. Almost immediately as soon as this Toys R Us was built on top of this land employees reported strange happenings. Toys would fly off shelves, people felt phantom touches, and faucets turned on and off all by themselves with nobody in the room. It became legendary among paranormal investigators in the late 70s when it played a host to several seances by psychics. One of these seances was shown on a popular program, That's Incredible. In the episode, which features a number of delightfully terrible reenactments, Brown tells the story of a so-called Toys R Us ghost. According to Brown, she was able to make a contact with the ghost, a laborer on the farm that once stood on the spot of the new store which the store was built on top of the farmland as he walked down the hall towards me he kept saying have mercy on me Beth Brown related she initiated the ghost name Johnny Johnny Johnson which was creepy because the farmer who actually was on the land before was Johnny Johnson Johnson a traveling preacher from Sweden sometimes worked on the Murphy farm in exchange for room and board while working there in the 1880s he fell in love with Murphy's daughter Elizabeth but his love was unconditional Elizabeth ran away with the lawyer from the East Coast leaving Johnny broken hearted over her completely. One day while chopping wood, Johnny's axe slipped, gouging him deep in the lake. He slowly bled to death and his unsettled ghost has roamed the property of the land ever since, which 
which of course where the Toys R Us was built on top. Even scarier than all that was there are videos out there documenting the hauntings of this literally alleged haunted Toys R Us. Like there's actual video footage, which I'm gonna put some of it here on the screen for you guys. Or reportedly it lost six managers. So out of desperation, they called me and said, would you please come in because we think we have a ghost. It's a story of unrequited love and not like some of the violence we see at other, let's say, ghost stories. It's sad. It's, it's tragic. So, yeah, this place has made history for paranormal investigators, other YouTubers. I think big YouTubers have actually investigated the place since it's turned into other stores to see how haunted and cursed it really is after the documentary came out about it being haunted. And a lot of people who worked there were just completely traumatized. I think a few workers from the Toys R Us said that they had seen a figure of a face and a man walking amongst the store. Obviously, the toys were thrown off the shelves by themselves, which really creeped out some of the toy store employees at the time. And then after that, when it became a pet store, or allegedly people saw dog toys being thrown off the shelf and just crazy creepy stuff so that's the story of a very very cursed Toys R Us and honestly it's weird but kind of fascinating like I feel like I would spend the night in a haunted toy store comment down below would you guys spend the night in a haunted Toys R Us or would you guys want to be an employee working in a haunted toy store let me know in the comments anyways guys that's some of the tea about Toys R Us and how Jeff and the Giraffe is kind of having glow up over time how they've started a TikTok and how they are finally making their comeback after they went into debt and close all their stores, which is kind of incredible to see they're making a comeback. Let me know in the comments down below, have you guys ever been to a Toys R Us? If so, do you guys like it? Yes, no? Hopefully you do. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been Lissy, and I'll see all of you lovely people in the next video. Bye guys! Bye.